Hey, it's Mike with Services That Scale. In this video, I'm gonna answer one of the most common questions that I get from agencies, which is how to package up and price your services to sell more high level. If this is your first time on my channel, I work with agencies to help them develop more profitable and scalable businesses. And I do this based off of my experience developing two different multi seven figure service providers selling to small businesses where I was able to generate millions of dollars in recurring revenue and exit one of those businesses for a multi seven figure exit. So everything that I'm sharing with you here today is based off of those real experiences and not just theory. Also, everything that I'm sharing here today is from my high leverage agency program, which you can get details on down below this video. This is based on the services that scale core philosophies and strategies and has been built entirely around the opportunity of using high level to design and sell very scalable, very automated services that are not based on your time and talent so that you can build a business that gives you a lifestyle that you want and that you can ultimately sell for a good chunk of money at some point in the future if you'd like. You can get details down below on the High Leverage Agency uh, in the description of this video. I'll also put a URL. I am one of High Level's biggest partners and have hundreds of agencies in that program and thousands of agencies as customers. I say all of that just so hopefully I have some credibility if it's your first time here and you know that this is based off of experience and not just theory, let's go ahead and jump into it. First, it's very important to be realistic about the fact that there is no single best service to offer. Small businesses are experiencing different problems at different times. They have different budgets. Different industries are facing different challenges at different times. So ideally, you want to be able to sell a variety of features or benefits that are still going to allow you to deliver a very standardized set of services. So you wanna have flexibility to approach prospects with a variety of different messages and value propositions that all lead to essentially the same service solution so that you get the benefit of being able to speak to the market in a variety of different ways to meet their needs, to meet them wherever they're at at the moment. But at the same time, you're selling something and delivering something that gives you a lot of scalability and ease of delivery. So in order to accomplish that, there's a few things that we wanna focus on keeping in mind at all times as we're developing our business, some sort of criteria in terms of how we're going to evaluate different services that we could potentially offer to the marketplace because not all services are the same. I've been selling to small businesses my entire career and one of the most important lessons that I've learned is that you have to be very, very thoughtful and selective in how you are selling to small businesses and what you're selling to small businesses because the reality is that small businesses cannot afford to pay you very much. That's part of being a small business. They don't have a lot of money. And so whatever solution that you're selling has to be at the right price points, which means that it has to be largely based on what I call assets and automation instead of time and talent if it's going to be profitable enough for you to build a real business on. So one of the core criteria that we're gonna have and what services we're going to sell is that they are based on assets and automation instead of time and talent. You will hear me say over and over again that I am actually anti-agency. And what I mean by that is I am anti the typical agency business model. The typical agency business model is selling custom services where you're leveraging your time and your talent. And I just got done saying small businesses can't afford to pay you for that. And so you need to sell assets and automation primarily as your solution. So I'm gonna get into that in detail here in just a moment, but that's one of our key criteria. Another criteria in the services that we're going to design and sell is that we should be aiming to create customers, not clients. Okay, what do I mean by that? Customers, not clients. So a customer, is somebody who buys a product based on the, the packaged set of features, benefits, and price point that are offered in that product, and they buy it, and they consume it, and they come back to buy it again if they're happy with it, versus a client is somebody that is used to getting that custom service treatment from the service provider. 
right? They're the ones that are used to being able to call you up and demand that you do this for them and do that for them. And they don't like the way that that service is structured. And so they want it structured a different way, right? Those are clients. Clients are great if you're selling to very large businesses that have a lot of money to spend. And so you can put up with those demands, but with small businesses, as the point I've already made here several times, they can't afford to pay you enough to justify that. And so you need to sell what we call productized services. You need to have services that have been designed with specific features, specific benefits in a package. That package has boundaries and a price point and you don't go outside of those boundaries because it kills your ability to scale. So we want customers, not clients. We want businesses that are buying a set service package from us at a set price, understanding that there are limitations to that, but that they're making trade-offs for the price that they're paying versus thinking that they should be able to demand some sort of custom solution like a client does. So when we put these various criteria together, the great thing is, is that high level has been designed understanding these factors and knowing that we need to build our services around some technology that gives us that asset that we're selling, the technology, as well as some other things that we're gonna talk about here in just a moment, but also the ability to deliver services with automation using that technology. And that gives us that scalability that we're looking for. Agency services still play a role in this, but as we'll discuss, it's a very, very limited role and you have to keep that in mind at all times to maintain your scalability and to maintain your profitability. All right, when it comes to the specific service packages that you're going to sell with high level, one of the most important concepts that you can understand, I'm gonna share with you here real quick, which is that we want to sell systems. Let me explain what I mean by systems. If you break down the small business market into three types of buyers, we'll call them tools buyers, system buyers, and agency buyers. Now you're familiar with tools buyers. These are the businesses that can buy a piece of software and use that software on their own to accomplish the tasks that they want to accomplish. They just need the tool to be able to do it more easily and efficiently and effectively. So I can sign up for ConvertKit, an email tool, and I can manage the process of building my list, sending out emails, sending out newsletters on a regular basis. I'm comfortable with all of the marketing skills around doing that. I have the time to do it. I have the team to do it. So I can just invest in a tool and do that. Now, the reality is the majority of small businesses are not just tools buyers because they don't have the time. They don't have the talent. They don't have the team to be able to use those tools effectively. If they were, they would not need us. They would not need help. I can't build a house. The tools are out there, but I don't have the knowledge. I don't have the experience. So it doesn't matter what tools I get my hands on. I'm not going to build you a house. That's where most small businesses are when it comes to marketing. On the far other end of the spectrum are agency buyers. And agency is this word that's been used in so many different ways. It's just become just the default word that we use to describe the industry. But let's try and hone in on who those buyers are, or at least they should be if you're actually delivering agency services. These are businesses that are big enough that they have the ability to pay you for your talent and for your time so that they can get a solution that's not just an off the shelf solution. Otherwise, if they could get it off the shelf, there would be no reason for them to pay you for your time and talent. If they could just buy whatever it is exactly what they were looking for, for a set price, then why in the world would they hire somebody to do some sort of custom services? They wouldn't, right? So the agency buyer is somebody that says, you know what, our business needs something unique and we're willing to pay for it. We're willing to pay for the time and talent of the person that can deliver that special something to our business so that we're differentiated somehow from the competition in the marketplace. We wanna have a website that does these amazing things and that's not 
something that you can just get off the shelf with a, with a theme and a template from WordPress. So we're gonna pay somebody to do custom development of that. Or we wanna have a marketing operation at our business that is head and shoulders above the competition and we're willing to pay for that. That is a very small number of small businesses that can afford to pay for that. They all may theoretically want that level of attention and want that level of service, but that doesn't mean that they can pay for it, which means that you can't have a viable business model with that. That's a very small percentage of the market and it tends to be what way too many people in our industry are focused on. And then finally is the system buyer, as I call it. In the middle here, this is the majority of the market. This is the market that we wanna target and to explain the systems buyer, and then I'll explain what systems are here in a moment. This mindset, the mindset that we're selling to is in this quote right here. I have no time for this stuff. I want to focus on my trade, right? Whether that's being a landscaper, a pizza shop owner, uh, you know, a, a plumber, a lawyer, a dentist, whatever it is. I don't have time to be a marketing expert. I need a system in place to help me run my business and do those things that I need done so that I don't have to think about it. Now, it must be affordable, okay? And again, even though they may want something custom and they may tell you that they need something custom because their business is different, right? Every business thinks their, their business is different. The reality is that most of them can't afford to pay you and won't pay you for those true agency services. This is the majority of the small business market, and this is who we want to target. Now, I said earlier that way too much of the industry is focused on the agency. That's simply because you get attracted to the idea that they're going to spend more money with you. But when that more money comes at the expense of scalability, it's not very profitable because it's taking up all your time and talent. It doesn't develop a lifestyle that you want. And those businesses tend to churn very quickly because they're still price sensitive. And so if they spend $5,000 with you a few months in a row and they're not getting exactly the result that they want, they tend to cut you off very quickly. And then a lot of people think because we have high level now, we have these amazing tools that we should be going after the tools buyers. But tools are a commodity and a very, very competitive commodity at that. And the businesses that are winning selling just tools are the businesses that have huge amounts of venture capital funding, you know, the hub spots of the world, even on the smaller side, the bird eyes and the, the podiums that have raised hundreds of millions of dollars and are going after this market very aggressively. You don't want to compete directly with that because you don't have those venture capital dollars. You don't have that marketing firepower that they have to spend on acquiring customers. So we want to go after this systems customer. We want to leverage the tools that we have from a high level, but we want to offer a more complete system. And I'll explain again what a system is here in just one moment. The reality is this is a dramatically better business model than the agency business model. Okay, you all know that the tools business model, the software business model is a fantastic business model. This is why venture capitalists invest so much money in it and they have been so reliant on software businesses to give them the big returns that they've had over the last 15 or 20 years because it is a fantastic model. On the other end of the spectrum is this agency model. Professional services are terrible business models when it comes to scalability and it makes them terrible business models to sell if you ultimately wanna exit the business because not that many people want to buy into a very difficult business model where it's based on time and talent. It's essentially just buying a, a job. So agencies tend to sell for a very low multiple of revenue, especially if you're a smaller agency selling to small businesses and so the economics are just not really strong. You're going to try and sell that business one day and you're not going to get a lot of money for it. You're going to be disappointed. In the middle here are systems and that's where our opportunity is. It is more towards the tools business model. It's not purely just selling software, as I mentioned before. So you're not gonna get the same multiple as a really high growth software company, but you're going to get a dramatically better multiple than the agency business. So when you go to sell, you're actually going to have something that can change your life in terms of an exit valuation. So we are not selling purely tools and we're not selling purely systems or agencies either. 
the way that I'm gonna show you how to package up and sell your services is going to be a little bit of a mix of each of these, but we want it to be primarily these systems as a service, as I refer to it, SaaS, systems as a service, not software as a service. Now, the result of selling systems as a service in the marketplace, or the reality of it, I should say, is that we are going to have to sell some agency services to be able to sell our systems as effectively as we want to be able to. And I'll explain that here in just a moment. The other reality is, is that we are going to sign up some customers on our systems that are ultimately just going to end up being tools buyers. And that's okay too, right? We'll take that all day long. That's just very automated recurring revenue. But the core that we're gonna be focused on is systems. That's gonna make up about 70% of our business. Now, when we get into these specific service packages, it is incredibly important that you keep the main goal in mind in this business. And this absolutely should be your primary goal in terms of how you're thinking about designing everything that you're doing at your business, what you're selling, who you're selling to, how much you're charging, everything should be to get as many customers on a recurring revenue system as possible. That is your primary goal. Everything else that you're doing is either about getting people onto that recurring revenue or keeping them on that recurring revenue as long as possible. That is all this business is about. So if you're thinking about getting lured into, I could do website design, custom website design and make money doing that and I can charge you know $10,000, $15,000 a website. Does that get customers onto your recurring revenue system as quickly and as many as possible? If not, it's probably not a good decision to make with your business. So it is all about this main goal and we have to keep that in mind all the time. Okay, let's get into the specifics here. When I say that we are selling a system, what exactly is a system? Here's what it is. It is access and that is typically access to a set of tools which we have with high level. So instead of selling our time and our talent, we are selling access on a monthly basis to our system, which is made up largely of the tools of high level, as well as this next layer, which is assets. So assets are a big part of what's going to differentiate us from just the tool sellers, okay? So again, if you were to go sign up for just a email marketing software platform, you still have to get in there and create your content, create your campaigns, send the campaigns, things like that. With the assets that you have the ability to layer on top of high level, you create a more complete and a more done for you solution so that your customers aren't having to come up with all of that from scratch. So you design best practice campaigns, you set up best practice workflows, you can put in some tailored content into all of that for them. And you can layer that on top of the high level software using snapshots. Right? That's what snapshots and custom values are so brilliant for, is to layer your proprietary assets on top of the tools that you're selling access to, which just makes this a much more complete offer than tools alone. Next is we're going to use automation, and this is the workflows and things like that, to deliver the value of the system instead of time and talent, as I said before. So we're going to take advantage of all this technology automation to deliver what the customer is looking for instead of our time and talent. And then finally, the fourth A is activities. Agency activities play a part in all this. So even though I say I'm anti-agency, keep in mind what I mean is that I am anti that business model of selling custom time and talent services, but there is still a layer of services that you need to expect that you're going to have to bake into all of this to make it a solution that a, a small business customer can easily buy and get value from. Okay, again, if you were just to sell most small businesses the tools of high level, they would get in there and have no clue what to do, no time to do it, no experience with it. That would just be a failure. We need to help them. We're doing that by the assets that we're creating. We're doing that by automating certain things that are happening in the system as much as possible. And we're doing that by layering on some types of agency services, again, with the mindset that we wanna do what we need to do 
to get as many customers onto this system as possible and keep them as long as possible, but nothing more, nothing custom, or at least the absolute bare minimum of custom things that we need to do to make those customers happy and get them on board, which if you're thoughtful about the design of how you do this, it's actually not a lot of custom services. You can be very, very cookie cutter in your approach to the services that you deliver. So where do these agency services then fit into all of this? You've no doubt heard that you could be an SEO agency, a PPC agency, a design agency, an SMMA, right? Social media management agency, and, and who knows what else is out there. All of these are services that are based on time and talent. You may want to offer some of these. You may want to focus on helping customers with lead generation, or maybe you're really good at social media or the industry that you want to target really needs help with social media. And so you want to have a solution for that. Maybe you've got a design background and you're really good at designing websites. Then you should look at what are the agency services that I can offer, that I can offer with real scalability, real productized approach, and use them to lead to my system. Okay, and I'll give you an example. I have offered websites as a service very, very successfully. I'm not a designer of websites, and these websites are very, very template-based with very minor amounts of customization, but they're really, really nice websites, and we can set them up using high level very, very efficiently, very low cost, so that I can offer them as a very attractive foot in the door service. I can say, hey, look, we'll design and build a website for you for free when you sign up for our system. So what did I do there? I put out this very attractive hook to get them onto the system. That's my number one goal. And so that hook of designing a website is really just structured to get them onto the system. I could offer to help them generate more leads. That's a very attractive offer in the industry. So I could offer to generate leads for them that will go into the system that I've created. I've created funnels for you to drive those leads into. I've created automated follow-up sequences. I've got all the tracking and reporting all built into this system. So we generate leads using our proprietary marketing system for your industry. Okay, so agency services can still play a role here, but we're staying really laser focused on that number one objective of getting as many of these customers onto our recurring revenue system as possible. So let me go ahead and show you the specific service package design worksheet that I use in my high leverage agency program to give very specific service packages to offer based on high level that are proven and scalable. And I'm gonna start here on this second page. And this is the general organizational structure that I use. You may have heard of my R4 sales system and that system has developed into an approach for how we actually design and structure our service offer as well. And it's based off of these four R's, reputation, resell, reach, and retarget. The idea is that those are universal marketing functions, marketing systems that need to be in place for all small businesses. They all need a way to grow and protect and share their positive reputation in the marketplace. They all need a way to resell customers to maximize the lifetime value, to reach new customers, to bring more people to their business, and then to retarget them, to stay in front of them because attention is something that is very hard to get and maintain. We have to retarget and stay in front of our customers. So these four R's are lined up with specific features and capabilities in the high level software platform. So that is the foundation of how we structure things in the program. And it's tied to the specific sales scripts that we use to sell these service packages. So let's get into some specific service packages then. This is a fast start service package. So the ultimate goal, as I said, is to get small businesses onto our recurring revenue system. And the best recurring revenue system will have as many hooks that are providing value for those small businesses as possible so that those businesses are really stuck on the system. And that may sound like a negative term to say that we're trying to get them stuck on our system. 
But what I'm saying is that we want to deliver so much value to them in so many different ways that they have no desire to leave. The pain of disconnect would be way too high. So ultimately, our goal is to get them using as many functions of high level as we possibly can. But to start with talking to a small business customer about all of these functions that they should be using can be really, really overwhelming, right? High level has so much to it and it's rolling out so much more all the time. Not every small business needs those functions. Not every small business even understands those functions. And so if we go and pitch all of those from day one, it's, it's a terrible sales pitch because it's incredibly overwhelming. So what I suggest is that we have these fast start service packages that you can use to get a customer onto the system very quickly. And these can actually be priced as low as $97 a month to get a fast sale going. And they're typically just going to be focused on a, a specific value proposition. So in this particular case, we could be focused on helping them build their list so that they have a customer list to be able to market to and a prospect list to be able to market to because most small businesses are not really deliberately doing any list building. So there could be a handful of features that we really focus on capturing the current volume of people that are coming to their website, coming to their business and turning them into an actual list, like collecting their information. We can do that with the AI chat bot, with the web chat lead generation, with missed call text back as a service, some SMS list building campaigns we could easily set up for them, some birthday campaigns that we could use to easily reactivate people that are on their list every year on their birthday. So this is just a basic set of features, really powerful set of features though, that we could easily package up and offer to somebody and say, hey, look, right now, you're not taking advantage of the things that you're currently doing because you're not building a list and you're not marketing to that list when that's the easiest way for you to generate more revenue. So let's get that set up and going. And so we can set up these really powerful capabilities for them. And that is on top of these core functions that they're going to get from high level, no matter what they're doing with high level, right? They're going to have the CRM capabilities, the opportunity pipeline management, the universal conversation inbox, reporting, task management. You can really put together a powerful value proposition that they're getting at a very, very low price point. Again, you could put this in at $97 a month, include a limited number of credits in there, and then it scales as they pay more. And there's a variety of these fast start packages that we could offer based on different value propositions. And so as I said before, we want to be able to attract prospects in a variety of different ways because different prospects have different problems at different times. So we could easily put something together that's more reputation focused and focused on review capture and review management. Uh, we could put something together that's more reactivation focused and say, hey, we're going to take your list and we're going to help you activate some more business out of that. I mentioned the free website service. That's a great one. There's almost no end because High Level is putting out such incredible features with incredible benefits. It's just a matter of kind of creatively packaging those up. And I have six or seven different approaches that I teach in the High Leverage Agency. But the point of it, again, is to get as many of them on that core set of packages so that they're using as much of the system as possible, okay? So what I've shown you here then is that once a customer has been sold on a fast start, it's then our goal that we want to upsell them into the more complete service packages. And so you can see here, each of these service packages include all of the reputation and resell features from a high level that we want to be able to offer. And again, if you go up to that first list here, you can see all of the reputation and resell are those here in bold. And you may be wondering, what does a website have to do with reputation? A website is one of the most important factors in today's world for your reputation, right? That's how you get evaluated when a business is first or when a prospect is first checking out your business. They're looking at your website. Does it pull up easily? Can they find the information that they're looking for on their phone? Can they contact you easily? Things like that. So these are all things that have a real impact on a business's reputation. These are all things that have a real impact on their ability to resell to existing customers. And so this core set of features here is really, really critical for us to focus on selling in our services. And here's why. These are all almost entirely automated once they're set up. These require almost no time and talent from you. 
Whereas when you look at reach and you look at retarget, thanks to high level and also some of their partner companies that I like to work with, like Uphex, we can put together some really cool advertising systems that are very, very scalable and automated as well and use that for retargeting. But there's also a lot of services as you get into reach and retarget that maybe are more hands-on, more sophisticated, things like ad management, lead generation, doing content, doing social media management. Those things tend to be something that you need to have more talent around and it does take more time for each customer. So as much as possible, I like to avoid those things. I like to base my business on more of these very automated, very asset-based service deliveries, which reputation and resell, these are all really perfect for once we get them set up, they are very, very largely automated. So you'll see down here in these service packages, I am focused on just selling all reputation and resell here and then just scaling the customers on various price points, depending on factors like how many SMS calls or credits are they going to get? How many emails are they going to get uh, credits for each month? And things like how many team members do they have accessing the system? Because that's a very common way to price software. So it's an easy way to scale up your price point and justify scaling up your price point in the mind of the customer because they have more people to pay for using the system. So this is the core service package that I believe that everybody selling high level should really be focused on, which is the system. It's not generating leads. It's not being a great website designer. It's the system. And all roads should lead to the system. Because once you get customers using this and they've got their data in there, they've got their customer list in there, they're sending emails from there, they're sending SMS from there, they're getting leads coming into the system every day. They see conversations happening in that conversation inbox that they didn't even know were happening before. They realize, wow, I was missing all these before because I wasn't checking my Instagram inbox and wasn't responding to direct messages. This is a really, really easy thing for us to get them stuck in for years to come, which is again, the goal of this business model. That's what makes this so valuable is to get that recurring revenue going for years and years with these small business customers. So this is the core set of packages that you want to sell. Everything else just leads to that core system. So if I sell them a fast start service package, which again, there's a variety of these that I can sell very easily because they're very clear value propositions at low price then I upsell as many of those customers as I can into the full set of services. Not every small business is going to upsell from those starter packages. Some of them are just gonna say, nah, I'm fine just with what you've set up. That's no problem. You've got them on a nice recurring revenue, very automated service. It's not as big as these other service packages, but that can be just fine. Now, some of you are saying, yeah, but Mike, but what about ads and what about generating leads and what about doing social media management, right? Those are all the hot agency offers that are out there these days. Well, again, if you want to sell those things, the goal should be to get them onto a system, not to get them focused on your time and talent services. So if you're selling an ad value proposition, I recommend that you work with our friends over at Uphex. Uphex has done a great job of turning advertising for small businesses into a system that you can offer and you can integrate it with high level so that instead of selling management of ads, you're selling access to a system. Again, going back to our four A's, you're selling access to assets. The assets are a software system that help you launch and run, manage campaigns effectively and easily and the proven campaigns that you have loaded into that system for your customers, as well, it integrates with high level. So what you want to also sell as part of that overall system is not just the ads, but the landing pages that they're going to be driving traffic to, the funnels that you've created, the follow-up workflows inside of high level, Now it's an integrated system so that they're not just spending money on ads, 
they've actually got a full approach in place to take advantage of what is coming from those ads. So it's very system-based. It's not time and talent based. So that's the approach if you want to offer ads. If you said, hey, Mike, I've been doing social media management or you know, I, I bought into this concept of doing social media management and that's kind of what I'm hooked on now, how would that fit into all of this? Well, here's another approach here you can see. So this is SMMA agency to add system service packages. So there's a variety of ways that we can put this together, but this is a really good example. If you were a social media management agency right now, what you're missing out on is getting customers on a system where they are paying you recurring revenue for using your tools, using your system, because social media management tends to just be time and talent. And so what happens is after five months of managing their social, they may decide, eh, I'm gonna cancel you, right? And move on or try and do this myself or this social media stuff just isn't working out for me. So the business model is a weak business model. It's based on time and talent. What we wanna do is get those customers again on the reputation and resell system. So now if you're selling SMMA, you should be selling SMMA with every single customer as part of your agreement, getting onto the foundation system that includes all of the things that impact your ability to do a good job with SMMA, which is all the reputation and resell capabilities that you need to have in place at that business. So now as a part of our social media management service, say we're charging $1,500 a month for social media management, a portion of that is going to be for this foundation system with all the reputation resell. Now we've got them hooked on the system. Then there is the actual social media management agency service that's layered on top of that. Again, I'm not a big fan of doing that as an agency because that's time and talent. There are lots of things that you can do within high level to make it more of a system and more scalable using their social calendar and their social posting system. But still with good social media management, there tends to be some time and talent involved. And then we can layer on that ad system on top of this as well if we want to give them another way to attract more audience and attract more customers and leads in a scalable way, which is with paid advertising, okay? All right, I hope that that helps you understand how to package up your services successfully around the high-level platform so that you can really focus on that most important goal of getting as many customers as you possibly can onto a recurring revenue system so that they're getting really good value out of that system and out of the high-level tools and paying you for years to come. You can still take advantage of agency services, but it should be for that primary goal of getting people onto the system and staying away from doing any unnecessary custom work as much as humanly possible. It is a far better business model than the typical agency business model. It's gonna give you recurring revenue, it's gonna give you financial stability, and ultimately, as you grow that business, financial freedom and the ability to exit that business, which is something that you may wanna take advantage of one day, and it's really nice to have that option to do it and do it with a business model that will get you a nice return when you do exit. All of this is covered in detail in my High Leverage Agency program, which you get for free if you sign up for a high level through me or if you upgrade to pro through me. I will put a link down below here where you can get all the details and in the description of this video, you'll find a number of resources for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you got good value out of it. If you did, please like it. Please share it with somebody else that you think would get good value as well. And please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below here. I respond to them all personally. Thank you so much.